No. No! Juno, can you retrieve them? <sighs> I fear not, my prince. I'm sorry, I have failed you both. Alistair, don't! You aren't going to be any better to them dead. What else is left for me, Yvonne? At least give me the dignity of dying by their side. Do not ask me to go on. Please. I... I can't... I can't take the pain. I can't go back to that cold, dark castle without them. <gasps> I promised I'd always protect them. And like everything else, I fucking failed. King Alistair. You can argue with me until time ends, Juno. But I'm going down there. And I'm going to get them out. Be ripped to shreds. Or fucking both. I don't care. Yvonne's too drained after his little lightning start to use any magic. Your arm is damn near falling off. We don't have time to argue. If I die, I die. So fucking be it. Alistair! I'm coming to get you, my love. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Juno? Call off your damned water horses. I still have Yvonne's spell going and I can see them. That is not Juno's magic. Then who? What? Who? Huh? Oh. My everything. Pearl! Oh, thank the moon spirits. Oh, gods, I'm sobbing. It's hard to see. I'm running over there to hug you, Pearl. Just stay right there. Don't you ever go anywhere again, all right? You are letting him go? What did you say to him? They said, Go in peace. Lest your heart turns black enough that the dogs of vengeance find you. <laughs> the callback! You learned one of my water magic spells and I didn't even realize. You're much more cutthroat and conniving than I thought. Do you, perhaps, have room for one more in your harem? Juno! If you keep making everyone fall in love with you, I might start getting a bit jealous, my love. Especially since I already must play nice with Yvonne. Wait. And there it is. The fucking spirit marking. Gods damn it. I didn't even get romanced, and now you're telling me I'm part of that tiny Murr's harem? Oh, your harem. Well, that's all right then. And no, I'm not going to stop holding you for at least a year. Good thing you found your Verosian strength, hmm? Yes, now you'll be able to drag three lovesick fans of yours around. Okay, you have Juno. Good. <laughs> Juno did not expect you to have such strong arms, advisor. For fuck's sake. Adopted a whole brood, have we? Does that mean I get to call you dad? Absolutely not! Ugh. And we're on the bear. Blah. What fur? Let's just get home. We have a lot of planning to do. And resting. Lots and lots of resting.
Thank you. For what? For loving me enough that you never gave up on me. To trust that there was still some good in this broken old body. And for thanking me good enough to be your husband. I can't stand here and say I'm not thankful either. I was impulsive with you, overexcited to have found my other half. Well, third, I guess. <laughs> you look good in marriage garb, Alistair. Garbage compared to our pearl, but you know how it is. My, I'd regret it if I didn't say you look nice as well, Yvonne. Very nice that your tailor makes outfits for toy dogs, hmm? Measurements are much easier. <laughs> Asshole. Ah, the priestess is indeed glaring at us. Apologies. Uh, ahem. Apologies, Hector. Please proceed. I take my pearl. And I take my everything. In, in holy, holy matrimony, matrimony, now and forever, and forever in, in this, this life, life and the next, and the next may, we be, may bound. we be bound. Gods, our pearl took my breath away with that kiss and... Then you knocked it back down my throat with your tongue, Alistair. I warned you before not to bite my lip, Yvonne. Or my earlobe. Alright, alright. Hmm. Look at that. Our kingdoms are intermingling, my pearl. The bonds are strengthening. And the future looks brighter than it ever could without you. I think I agree with that. Thanks to you, we're stronger than ever and in the best position to open trade routes and take care of our people. I am so proud of you. As am I. Now, what say we all get so drunk that Juno must shake their head in disapproval for years after? Joke is... Ayuki. Juno is already... shaking their head in disapproval at Gina. What do you think, love? You did promise to save me a dance. Then let this night be one to remember. The night we all began our lives together. Cheers, then. To the future. Though it wasn't always easy, and they had their fights, Yvonne, Alistair, the Advisor, and Juno were able to bring together their kingdoms to create not only a profitable, safer kingdom, but one that most would think twice before engaging in a militaristic fashion. With Alistair injured, he would relinquish hold of the Deep Fin's thrones to you, ironically becoming your advisor. Your name, be it in Viros, the Deep Fens, or Rasan, would echo throughout history as one of unquestionable honor, strength, and compassion. Yvonne would grow into his own as a new king, still maintaining his compassion and sensibility. He did relent to Alistair's request that security measures be a bit more drastic should the occasion arise. Ever the dedicated husband and lover, Yvonne would dote and be at their side as often as possible. He'd also take every opportunity he could to tease Alistair about this or that. He lived a long, content life at your side, and never regretted any of it. It would take many years of hard work of this new thing called counseling you discovered in Rassan before the bond between you and Alistair was mended fully. He worked hard 
never complaining once, and always expressed his contentment to simply be at your side. He stepped down from the throne gracefully and proved to be a great advisor in his own right. If the advisor wanted children, be it via adoption or natural means, they would receive a daughter via Alistair and a son via Yvonne. Alistair proved to be a surprisingly good father, patient, but knowing when to put his foot down. Yvonne was a good father as well, but never had it in him to handle the disciplining. It didn't surprise anyone when your son turned out to be a bit of a delinquent. You love them all the same, your little family. Sometimes you'd wake up and Juno would be in bed with you. Neither of you could ever explain this and stop trying after about the 15th time. They're a good cuddler anyway. Muffin was also a great cuddler. Unfortunately, Muffin was also a 400 pound grizzly bear. You'd receive the occasional letter from your father as he aged. Whether you answered them or not has been lost to history and scholars still debate how you would eventually go on to take Viros, a story for another time perhaps. Your mother was, at last, given a proper burial, same as the villagers that were simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. Despite Yvonne's reluctance, Alistair recovered Jordi, her murderer, and he was given a gruesome punishment. You found it difficult to be sad for him. Your life and deeds will be forever remembered. You, the one that saved a king's blackened heart without losing your own.